Do you ever wonder if you should age a beer or drink it fresh? Well, on today's Beer vs. Beer Challenge, we look at a 2016 vs. a 2017 Weyerbacher Sunday Morning Stout. Welcome back everybody. So we do have another what I'm calling beer versus beer challenge. Uh, before we get going, I have to say thank you to No Hype Beer Reviews for sending both of these to me. Um, if you haven't checked out his channel already, I will have it in a box at the end of this video. Um, so let's get into it. So uh, today we have Weyerbacher Sunday Morning Stout. This is the 2017 version and this is the 2016 version. Uh, both have dates and on the 2017 it says 21417 then 21419. So obviously the package date and the best buy date. On the 2016, it's uh, 2316 and 2318. So we're almost technically at the, the lifespan of this beer. Um, I'm guessing they could go on longer, but maybe some of the, the um, smells and tastes that you'll get will either be ramped up or drop down. Now obviously these beers are different. I guess I'm not used to having um, an aged beer versus a new beer being so different. So on the 2017 uh, this is a 12.7% ABV and I believe it was 60 IBUs. I will check real quick um, like I was saying, um, these beers are completely different, uh, almost a different grain bill. Let me check, sorry. Yeah, 60 IBUs, so 12.7% ABV, 60 IBUs, where the 2016 is 11.3% and 20 IBUs. So obviously, different grain bills. Let's see what we're going to get on these. So we'll open up the 2017 first. These have been sitting out probably 15, 20 minutes or so. Uh, so they should be pretty good to drink right now. I will have a review on each one of these. Uh, so if you want to check that out, um, go through some of my videos. Usually um, I did this on the Ex Bell's Expedition Stout and what I normally do is I put out the review of tasting both side by side to see which one I like. Then the next day I do one, then the next day I do the other. So I'm sure that's what I'll do here. <clears throat> Just uh, uh, give you guys an idea of what I think about both of them. Obviously uh, if you watch this one first um, you'll know exactly uh, what I like best. So um, if we look at them right off the bat, the 2017 version of this uh, does not have a head. The 2016 version does have a head. Very dark chocolate uh, color, all small bubbles. About a finger of head right now. If we compare both of them, um, they are black in color if anything I would say the 2016 version is a little brown like it's got a hint of brown in it I don't know if you guys can see it uh, but yeah to me um, the the older one is maybe losing its color just a little bit um, let's go ahead and give it a smell we'll start with the 2017 version A little bit of roasted malts, a tiny bit of chocolate, but the biggest thing I get is the alcohol. Uh, if anything, I would say you can tell this is a young beer because that alcohol level is still real big. And <clears throat> just um, so you guys know, I don't look anything up. So this is a stout aged in bourbon barrels with coffee. And I'm pretty sure this says the same thing. Yes. 
So let's go ahead and smell the 2016. I would say on the 2016, you're getting more of the barrel and a little bit of alcohol, but you can smell that oak barrel uh, more than anything. Uh, the roasted malts, maybe chocolate coffee is very, very uh, low compared to the 2017. Yeah, in the 2017, I'm getting a little bit more of that cho chocolate roasted malt in there. So for the smell, I would actually go with the 2017. Um, it does have a little bit more uh, complex smell than the 2016. So let's go ahead and get a taste of the 2017. You get that oak barrel, um, almost like a slickness, uh, very uh, thick beer, and a little bit of roasted malt with bitterness in the back. I really don't get coffee. Uh, a, like I said, a little bit of roasted malts and maybe a tiny bit of chocolate. Uh, again, to me, you can tell this beer is young um, just because that alcohol in that barrel is really... Um, biting you there. Let's go ahead and taste the 2016. A lot smoother, that barrel, that oakiness is toned down. The alcohol is not as big. You get a little bit more roasted malt, still thick, a little bit more of the chocolate in there and some sweetness. Obviously this beer is a sipper at you know either 11 or 12. Um, if anything obviously I would say that the 2017 version has more alcohol in it than the 2016 just by the taste. Even if I didn't know the ABV um, and being a young beer, you can almost tell drinking these side by side that that 2017 does have more alcohol in it. Yeah. The 2016 is a smoother version. Um, I wish there was a lot more coffee. I am really not getting any coffee out of this at all. And I would think that coffee level would come up um, over the years as you age it. Um, but I don't know. I've never brewed a stout, excuse me, um, with coffee and let it sit. I have done an IPA. And that IPA has brought out more of that coffee over time. So I'm thinking a beer like this um, would do the same. In the 2017 version, I'm not really getting the bitterness. Uh, since it is 60 IBUs, it almost drinks like the 2016, let's say, version at uh, 20 IBUs. But I think in the 2017 uh, because it's so young, that barrel, that alcohol is covering up a lot of that bitterness. Um, and if you were getting bitterness out of this beer, I think it would be from the hops because I'm really not getting a lot of chocolate, dark chocolate in there. Yeah, even in the smell, the 2016 smells a little bit toned down. Um, so I would say if you're not a huge barrel age person, um, the 2016 is probably for you. If you're, if you are a big barrel aged and you like that oak, you know, that alcohol, uh, taste, the 2017, uh, is for you. So I would say on this beer, um, drink it fresh. If you're a barrel person, if you're not, I would say age these two. And again, the two-year span that they're giving these beers, you could go longer. Um, I really don't see anything that's going to happen if you go longer. Maybe that, that barrel will come down like you're kind of getting after a year. But um, 
to me, there's not enough in this beer to bring anything else out. I think if there was, you know, enough chocolate or enough coffee in here, you would get it in the 2016 version, and I'm just really not getting it. But for me, um, I would have to go with the 2016 version. I'm not a huge barrel person, so the 2016 is the one I would go with. So if I pick up this year's version, I would go ahead and age it probably two years um, since the 2016 is almost two years old. Um, but yeah, both good beers. And again, thank you to No Hype Beer Reviews for sending me both of these. Definitely one uh, to experience. If you can find them, pick them up uh, and try them. But they are thick. You can you get the barrel. So uh, if you don't like that, just stay away from it. Um, so thank you for joining me. And until next time, happy brewing.